Evening, another white-knuckle day in the financial markets after new worries surfaced about debt problems in the U.S. and Europe. Signs of economic weakness triggered huge sell-offs on Wall Street and markets around the world. John Matteris is here now reporting several different and important aspects of the economic situation right now. John? Well, Kevin and Clyde, stocks began to tumble as soon as the market opened this morning. At one point, going down as low as 529 points. That's almost a 5% drop. Now, the closely watched Dow Jones average that many of us look at closed below 11,000 today. And that's wiping away some of the recovery from late last week. Later in the day, the market eliminated some of its worst losses, but still closed down 419 points for the day. European markets got hammered too, losing between 5 and 6 percent. Meanwhile, more Americans joined the unemployment line with new jobless claims last week rising above the 400,000 mark again. I've been constantly looking every day uh, since I've been laid off in June. I'm willing to stay in this line no matter what. The housing market continues to get worse. The National Association of Realtors says existing home sales fell 3.5% this summer, year to year. Another new report today from Philadelphia signals that manufacturing, one of the economy's strongest segments since the recession ended in 2009, may now be slowing down again. President Obama plans to unveil a new jobs plan after Labor Day, which will include a deficit reduction plan and a plan that he believes will create new jobs. I'll be back at 530 with some better consumer news about one brand of dishwasher detergent that can cure the problem of white film on your dishes. Until then, Clyde and Carol. And thus things are looking up. All right, John, thanks.